Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. I'm constantly reading all your messages, emails, and tweets, and you guys ask for some specific animals. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this week's show and highlight the most requested ones. You're watching Snake Bites. One of the really cool things about doing this show is that you guys happen to start to like certain animals and then start requesting to see more about them. And Sunshine happens to be one of those animals. She's an albino Burmese python that I've had since she was a little baby. And she's almost five years old now and about 12 foot. But we keep her a little bit slender because we don't want to have this huge snake that we're running around all over the place. Because that's right, she's a little bit of a mascot for us. We'll actually take these to parties, to school events. She's a great mascot for the reptile community and I want to keep her kind of at a size that's handleable. Again, we feed her plenty but not to the point where she's going to get really big and obese. I tell you what, she's probably about 50 or 60 pounds already so she's already a big handful but again, she's a beautiful animal and I'm really happy to show it off for you guys. As we were filming, something kind of cool happened. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw a little baby rainbow crawl across the thing so I had to come over and show you guys. This is the mom here and as you can see, she looks pretty skinny because she just pretty much gave birth and she's definitely going to be looking for a rat pretty soon. But I want to see how many babies. Look at how aggressive they are as little babies. They're still just striking like mad. And it's pretty amazing with live bears how that is, is that in the wild these guys are going to get born and they're just going to be on their own. The mom doesn't help them whatsoever. So they have to have this really aggressive attitude to survive in the wild out there. you got to watch out for the mom too because trust me. She's probably not that happy either. And then it's just a matter of almost like a little bit of an Easter egg hunt. Ow, little sucker got me. It's just looking through. Again, I know that there's more than that babies here, but you always gotta pay attention to the mom too. Here's another baby right here, see? And they blend in really well. <laughs> Look at how feisty they are. <laughs> Look at this little guy, he's trying to bite me constantly. Yep, looks like that's it, but she had a bunch. Look at all these babies. That's a pretty good, uh, good amount of babies for this, this girl right here. She did really good for me. Again, it's a good day to be a snake breeder. Which one of the BHB crew members used to weigh over 300 pounds? Was it A, Brian, B, Josh, or C, Chewy? Leave a comment below with your answer and keep watching to find out if you're correct. And then the polar opposite of sunshine, I get requests all the time to see the Satan. That's right. Now I love this girl and you guys know I do, but she certainly is a handful and she's nothing like Sunshine is. As soon as I start to open her cage, I immediately know that she's, she's, she means business. And as you can see, she's ready to roll. Come on girl. But I tell you what, I, I'm pretty good with reading this animal and she's pretty predictable. She's always gonna come out, and I can usually get her. She's gonna play with me a little bit now. She seems to have a lot of energy today, which is not a good thing for me, but I'm okay with it, because I'm not gonna let her beat me. Oh. And again, just like with any animal, once you get them going, they're not bad. But she's, okay, see? Now she's giving me an opportunity to get her. To be honest with you, once you get her going, She's not exactly a tame animal by any stretch, but as you can see, she's not gonna come out and kill you. But again, you gotta stay away from the business then, because she's the bad one. And some people ask me why I keep her in a cage this size. I know it's a little bit tight, but the truth is, we moved her into a cage that was about twice the size, and for about a month, all she did was smash her head on the front of the cage, and started to mess up her mouth, and she was just miserable. She even stopped eating, so, we got her back in here, and she's back to her old, friendly, happy self. Come on, girl. Uh, uh, ow! <laughs> oh, gosh, she got me good. Holy crap. I tell you what, after that little battle with Satan, I'm glad to move on to an animal that's a little bit more manageable. Now, I've only started working with these guys about a year ago, but every time I show them in the show, I get tons of messages and emails and comments. And these are the Blacktail Kribos. This is an adult female, and as you can see, she's probably about six or seven foot long. Believe it or not, some of these guys can get up to 10 foot, and they're the largest species of snake in Central America where they're found. Now, their cousins are the Black Indian 
indigos or the Texas indigos, they don't get quite as large, but they're still the largest snake in North America, which is pretty amazing. The thing about these animals that's so cool is their personality. As you can see, they're super tame, but also really inquisitive. And what's kind of interesting too, believe it or not, they'll actually eat other snakes. Now this one certainly doesn't eat rats, but you have to be a little careful when you throw a male in with a big girl like this, she might have lunch. All right guys, I get asked all the time to get updates on the Night Nile project. Well, here they are. They're getting pretty big, aren't they? But I tell you what, they are so feisty. Even when I was setting this guy up, he already bit my knuckle. And I tell you what, they're getting to the size now where it hurts pretty good, but you can see they're still jet black and really beautiful animals. I have no idea what I'm gonna do when these things get five or six foot long and have an attitude like this. We've been trying to tame them out, but to no avail whatsoever. But they're just so amazing. I mean, the jet black eyes and they're just such beautiful animals. It's really a shame that I can't take them out and play with them like I did when they were babies. But again, it'll all be worth it if we get a chance to breed them. This is another one of my newer obsessions. And I tell you what, anyone that's into reptiles always loves these guys. That's right, any crocodilian is really cool. And these guys are American alligators. This is actually Jay Paul, and it's got a little bit of an attitude. We still work with it, but it doesn't seem to be nearly as friendly as what we'd like it to be. So it's gonna be a handful when it's big. But again, we're gonna keep on messing with this little guy. And the reason we have these these couple alligators is simply for educational purposes. It's not like we're looking to breed these or repopulate them because there's already plenty of alligators down in Florida and it certainly aren't the best of pets. But when it comes to educating kids, it's really a cool animal. And again, there's just something about crocodilians that are just so awesome. This is my other guy here. He's gonna run away from me. Now this one has a special story and he's actually really, really docile too. You never have to worry about him biting whatsoever. And his name is actually RJ. And we were raising him up from a little baby, and unfortunately we had another rescue alligator that was a little bit more aggressive, about the same size. And one morning, a real tragic thing happened. We came in, and RJ got his leg bit off. And it's kind of a bummer now that he only has three legs, and the tip of his tail is gone as well. But again, it really didn't affect his personality whatsoever, and he still does really good. It healed up just fine. So now my little tripod here has a cool story behind him. An animal we certainly showcase a lot on the show are Amazon tree boas, and typically they're biting chewy. But the fact is, is the majority of our Amazon tree boas are relatively docile, like you can see this tiger Amazon, and people always love them because they're just so colorful and they're just such active snakes. And again, of course people love the fact that a lot of them bite chewy, but again, the tiger Amazons are really beautiful because they're an actual color and pattern mutation that's actually co-dominant, which is pretty cool. And guess what? Just recently, we had a few babies born. As you can see, this one's still a little bit feisty, but it's not bad. Let me see if I can get him off his branch here. Look at how brilliant colored that animal is. And again, it's got a little bit of an attitude. There's no doubt about that, but it's got that little teeny tiny skinny neck. It's almost hard to believe that this animal can eat a fuzzy mouse, but that's basically what these guys eat when they're babies, is they'll eat lizards in the wild and fuzzy mice. Amazon tree boas are a great way to get into a boreal snakes because they're not quite as hard to keep as green tree pythons and emerald tree boas, but they're just super cool. And again, you can tell how feisty some of them are. I just absolutely love them. Well guys, I'm always paying attention to you and I wanna always showcase the animals that you guys wanna see. So make sure to comment down below, send me an email or tweet me up anytime. I'll make sure to do another show like this in the future. Good evening, I am Count Chukra. I am out of action for Halloween because I've been in the hospital with a nasty bite. But I brought in my good friend, Count Blackula. Count Blackula, have you come here to suck some necks? I come to suck some 40 ounces. You come to suck 40 ounces? Don't you drink 40 ounces? Yes! Okay, I will get you a 40 ounce after we get on trick or treating. Okay! Okay, now, when I open the cage, you stick in and get the treats. Oh. Don't be a big black cat, or should I say that is. Stick your hand in there and grab the treats. I don't know, it's got to be scary. It's not scary, you got to be strong, vampire. Stick your dumb hand in there. That would be easy. Uh oh, come on, Mr. Stick. That this is a do all that. The, the candy is I by his head. I get the candy, I get the candy. Oh, he looked like he wanted a piece of me. <laughs> Ooh.
Obviously, yesterday was the presidential election here in the United States. Now, regardless of how you feel about who won or not, I want to know who do you think would make the best president. Now, anyone in the world, I want to know who you think would make an ideal leader. Leave a comment below and let us know. So there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. And remember, I'm always listening to your requests. As a matter of fact, over on Facebook and Twitter, I often post your requested pictures. So make sure to follow me at Snake Bites TV. Until next week, you've been watching Snake Bites. So which one of the BHB crew members used to weigh over 300 pounds? If you answered C, Chewy, then you're correct. He used to weigh 316 pounds. Can't produce baby snakes and not have a baby snake nursery, right? Well, these guys are all our little hognose snakes. Not so little anymore. A lot of these guys are being raised up for future breeders. This is really where Chewy works. This is his side over here. And these are just normal baby corn snakes, king snakes, stuff like that in these little boxes. You can